gather your thoughts, gather your attention right down to one spot, right where the breath is coming in going out. But don't put too much pressure on the breath. Try to figure out a way that you can be with the breath and not tense up around it. One of the mind's bad habits is so when it focuses on something, it tends to tense up around what it's focusing on. This is one of the reasons why I say you focus on a pain and the pain gets worse. You have to learn a new way of focusing. That you're with it, but you're allowing it to be as relaxed as possible. But your attention is as continuous as possible. Learn how to make that combination. Because that kind of focus is actually healing focus. You can focus on pain and not make the pain any worse, which is precisely the skill you need if you're going to understand it. So start with the breath. Learn how to be with the breath, but without putting pressure on the breath. Allow it to come in, go out, and ask yourself what kind of breathing would feel good now. Sometimes the body will actually automatically respond to that question. Other times you have to nudge it a little bit. But the nudging, again, is just nudging through thought. Say, how about a little bit longer? And the body will breathe longer. See how much you can do in an indirect way this way. How much you can accomplish without putting pressure on things. Because as I said, this relaxed focus, this wide open focus, is precisely what you need in order to stay with the whole body and allow the breath to be comfortable as you stay. That we can stay for long periods of time and see what's going on. Because the principle of causality isn't that everything that happens right now is going to be affected by causes right now. Some of the causes come from the past. And so you have to be with the whole story if you're going to see what happens and why things happen. It's like coming in and out of a room. The TV set is on. You come in, you see a little bit of the show, and then you go into another room of the house. You come back ten minutes later and something else is happening. You can't really know what was the connection between the two events. So when you stay there and watch all the way through, you begin to say, oh, this is because of that, and that's because of this. This led to that. That's what knowledge is. As John Lee said, if you see just causes but without results, that's not knowledge. You see results without causes. That's not knowledge either. You have to see the two of them together. That's when you really know what's going on in the mind in a way that you can make a difference. You can use that knowledge to make a difference in the mind. So learn how to focus on things in a way that you can maintain that long, continuous focus and yet not put un any undue pressure on. It's in this way that we learn.